Thank you for taking time to listen to the 39th Street Church of Christ Daily Devotional. The devotional of today is, I understand, I just don't care, by Jack Williams. The other day I was coming out of a store and saw a woman wearing a t-shirt. I've never seen one before. They're probably pretty popular and I just didn't know it. But it said, I understand, I just don't care. Well, a woman looked at me kind of odd because I was staring at her shirt. She asked, you like my shirt? I said, well, not really. I said, but it's really an indication of what's wrong with the world today. And I said, same thing is true when it comes to Bible matters. I invited her to church, but it was a friendly conversation. But I got to thinking about it and how much in the world goes on like that just because people know, they understand what's right, what's wrong. They don't care. But it grows to a, a deeper problem. In the Bible, we find the book of Acts, the 8th chapter, <clears throat> there was a man there who, who really cared. He was riding in a chariot. He'd been to Jerusalem to worship, and now he was returning, and God sent uh, Philip unto him to preach him the gospel. Well, as he spoke to this man in the chariot, he asked him, said, Understandest thou what thou readest? The man had been reading in Isaiah 53, which prophesied of Jesus. And the man said, How can I except man, some man tell me? Well, the New Testament had been delivered then. We're blessed to have it now. So Philip began at that scripture and preached unto him Jesus. Well, this man cared. You see, whenever he had Jesus preach to him, obviously that entails something about baptism. Because they came to a certain water and he said, See, here's water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? Straightway they went down into the water based on the fact that this man believed that Jesus was the Christ, the Son of God. And he was baptized. And then he went on his way rejoicing. You find others the same way in Acts the second chapter in verse 37 they were pricked in their heart and they asked many brother what shall we do and they were told repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit 3,000 people understood and cared and they were baptized according to verse 41 and verse 47 God having given forgiven their sins added them to the church do you ever think about how many multiplied thousands there were at that time who understood but didn't care? You read about people like that too with Demas, 2 Timothy, the fourth chapter. He had been a fellow laborer, the apostle Paul, but time came when the temptation of the world got to him. He knew, he understood that following God was a narrow way that demanded we reject the things of the world but he departed having loved this present world. He understood, but he didn't care. Rich young ruler, the same way. Jesus told him, you sell what you have, give to the poor. Oh, he understood Jesus. He just didn't care. He went away sad, sorrowful, because he had much riches. You know, today, we, every one of us fall into two categories with God's will. We can know the truth. John 8 and verse 32, we can do the truth, John 8 and verse 31. In other words, we can understand what he says. The real question is, do we care? You know, if we care, we won't just call him Lord, Lord, but we'll do what he says, Luke 6 and verse 46. So today, you know, I preach the Bible. I don't preach faith only. James, by inspiration, condemned that. I preach the same gospel that was preached on the day of Pentecost. And there are people who understand and care. There are people who understand and don't care. And I can't control that. But one thing I can do is control myself. I determine what I'm going to do. I go through life, and as Paul told those in Thessalonica, he said, prove all things, hold fast to that which is good, and abstain from the very appearance, every form of evil. Well, I make the choice. I understand. I can look at it, and I can know if it's right or wrong. Do I care? I can look and I can realize the need of being good to people, doing the right thing, bearing one another's burdens, Galatians 6 and verse 2, correcting those in error, Galatians 6 and verse 1. I understand that. Do I care? I can be the type of husband that I ought to be, and women can be the type of wives they ought to be, Ephesians the fifth chapter. It's easy to understand. Do we care? 
I can be a young person who obeys my parents, Ephesians the sixth chapter. I understand that. Do I care? I mean, on and on we go. God didn't hide the truth from us. He gave it plain. We can understand it. But the question is, do we care? Now, here's a real blessing. Whenever I understand and care, I get to be a shining light. Matthew 5, 16. This world's in darkness. Oh, it needs that light. And I can be that light because I care. I can be the person who makes a difference in the lives of others as I set that example and I can say, follow me, not because of me, but because I follow Christ, just like Paul said in 1 Corinthians 11, verse 1. I can do that because I understand and I care. So go through life today. Each one of us sees the choices. We see the opportunities. And we understand what God says we ought to be doing. Do I care? I'm going to count on you, and you can count on me that we care. We're going to make a difference for good. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short devotional. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you'll be notified of other devotionals that will be forthcoming. Also, we encourage you to join us online live as we stream our services at each service time. More information can be found on our website at the link below. Thank you.